Hey guys, welcome back to Healthy Grocery Girl. Today I'm sharing with you baby products that we love and that we'll be using again. So we are expecting a second child, a little boy. I can't believe it. Every time I say it, I can't believe we're having a boy. Um, as many of you know, we have a daughter and uh, she's a year and a half and we're expecting a little boy um, end of this year, early next year, whenever he decides to make his grand appearance. And there are some baby products that we fell in love with as we became new parents um, with our daughter Ella. You don't really know what products you're really gonna love, you're really gonna use until you have a child and then you're like, okay, these are the products that are cute but not practical and then these are the products that we use every single day, I love them. And so we're definitely gonna use them again with our next baby and that's what I'll be sharing with you today. So first, it's a large basket, <laughs> first, um, I organized this. Doesn't this look so nice? So this is a giant basket of all of our swaddle blankets. Some we already had with Ella, some have been new um, gifts for baby boy, and I realized we have a lot of blankets, a lot of swaddle blankets. Um, that's one item we'll be using again. We have so many because we love them and we use them so often. They're so great um, for so many reasons to kind of lay out on the ground. If your baby's going to be on the ground and maybe doing tummy time, if you're over at a friend's house, or a mommy group um, and you want to bring a nice blanket to put on the ground for your little one to be on if you're kind of a germ phobe like me then that's a good idea um, some of the blankets like the muslin ones that are really breathable are good if you kind of want to put them over like your car seat or your um, a car seat yeah car seat or stroller um, you do want to be careful though that it doesn't get too warm under there sometimes you put, put a blanket over a car seat or your stroller it can really increase the temperature underneath which is not safe for baby but if you have a nice breeze, breathable muslin blanket to put over um, and it's not too hot outside it, it can be a nice way to kind of keep baby away from maybe strangers who want to be like, ooh, a baby, and get like right into your car seat or your stroller. So there's so many great uses for them. We have quite a few here um, that I love, and I will link some of them down below, but let me pull a few out. I'm probably gonna have to reorganize all of this. Um, so this really cute striped um, gray and white one is from Solly Baby. They also have this really cute, this is the, um, camel color i believe that this one is called camel they also have um which i'll talk about next um, a really pretty color called cinnamon which is great for a wrap but some other really good ones um, this one here we love and use so much with ella it's from bull and branch because it's really thick um, so this is really good for winter time and we're having a winter baby, so it's nice to have some of the thicker blankets. It's nice to have some thinner ones. Um, lots of just cute little ones in here. So like this one here is from Plum and Sparrow. It has little birds on it, um, which is really cute. So like I said, if you're looking for some muslin blankets that are super cute, I will link um, the different brands below. Some of these blankets, um, like this one here was made for us. You know, sometimes f friends and family are really good at sewing and making things, so they may make you a blanket. So that would be my first item we're gonna use again is blankets, muslin blankets, or just any blanket is just so versatile and great for your little one. So number two is baby wraps. So I love baby wearing. There's so many great benefits to baby wearing. Um, baby wearing can soothe your baby. It's so comforting for them to be so close to you. Um, it's also a really good way. I'd mentioned I'm a little bit of a germaphobe, but it's I think that's good, especially when they're really little and it's early on. And maybe you don't want a lot of people touching your baby or passing your baby around or picking up your baby or kissing your baby. And so if you are wearing them and they're nice and snug and close to you that definitely keeps people from maybe touching your baby if you don't want them to. They may still reach out and try to touch their like arms or legs or things that are exposed, um, but that can be helpful. Um, and it's also a really great way to be hands-free. So with one child, super helpful because we have things we need to get done in a day. And I know having, I will, I, I think I know, <laughs> having two, it's going to be a lot busier. And so being able to be hands-free throughout the day to wear my little guy so I can still like have my hands free to read a book with Ella or make her lunch or something like that is going to be so helpful. Um, so I have a couple different, uh, 
baby wearing items that I love. I would say that, especially being in California, um, where it can get quite warm, although we are having a the baby in the winter, Solly Baby is one of my favorites. Um, what I love about it is that it's their material is so thin and lightweight and breathable. So this is the wrap. Um, let me move this to the side so I can share with you guys. This is the wrap. It's really like a long, 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 long piece of material that is so thin, which is really nice. It's kind of stretchy, um, really, really soft. And why, why I love that it's so like thin and stretchy and soft is it's very breathable. So sometimes when you have that little person on your body all the time, two bodies gets really hot. I like overheat sometimes if I'm baby wearing, especially with some of like the bigger, chunkier baby carriers. Um, some of those are really nice. Like the Ergo is great, especially if you want to go on a walk. Um, it's so easy to kind of clip in, be on the go. The Solly is also great for going on walks. Um, they're all great. Um, Wild Bird is another one that makes more of like the sling. Um, we have one of those, but I would say like mostly I use and love the Solly baby um, just because it's the most comfortable and breathable and I don't get so hot like I can actually wear my baby for a longer period of time or some of the other wraps I feel like um, I can only wear the baby for 30 minutes and then I'm like oh my gosh I'm so hot um, so this is um, a really cute striped one there's also this one which is like a cross kind of stitch pattern I don't know if you guys can see it's really really cute here I'll, I'll do like a little close-up here for you guys so you can see the material but really cute and then this color I'm loving it is called cinnamon and it's so rich and beautiful and again so soft so perfect for winter time but just fun to have some different wraps Mostly because, you know, then you can change it up to, for what goes with your outfit. Super silly, I know, but it's fun and it's part of parenting and it just it's part of making your day fun as a mom is, I don't know, you got to find your little thrills <laughs> and ways to make the day exciting. Um, but definitely baby wearing, baby wraps, a must. So next are Earth Mama products. Many of you know that I, oop, that's not even the right way. Let's try that again. Next are Earth Mama products. <laughs> many of you know that I love Earth Mama organics. Um, I use so many of their products. I love them all. Um, and I would say two that are particularly, particularly really, really helpful, especially postpartum if you're nursing. Um, let's talk about postpartum first. So the um, herbal sits bath. So these are great. Um, let me see if I can open this one up for you guys. Oh no, I hope I don't destroy the packaging. Okay, so basically what these look like is they look like little tea bags. They come in these little like tea bags basically and they have different herbs that are really soothing for your nether regions, they say. And you just plop some in the bath, warm nice bath and take a bath and it's really like healing and restoring and nourishing for all that that's going on down there which has gone through a lot having a baby um, no matter how you have a baby it's still whether you have a baby um, like vaginally or c-section it is still good to be able to take a sits bath and just kind of heal that area because um, it still goes through a lot your whole body goes through a lot so herbal sits baths are amazing so this is um earth mama i'll link it below and then if you're nursing Oh my gosh, you have to have this organic nipple butter. I use this stuff religiously. I maybe overused it, but it will save you because nursing, especially when they're like little and the first like three, four months and the cluster feeding and they're on you all the time, it can leave you feeling very dry, um, like sore. If you're too dry and then you put your clothes on, it's like it's really uncomfortable and itchy and that can lead to maybe sores or bleeding and you want to take care of your nipples basically. And so the best way to do that is to keep them really like nourished and hydrated. And so after every nursing session, every single one, I would lather on a little bit of this nipple butter um, and it saved me and we didn't have any issues there. So definitely recommend it. And again, I will link those below. I also love Earth Mama Organics Calming Lavender Lotion. It's the only lotion that we've used with Ella and we'll continue to use with Ella and also our baby boy. So another item that we love is the Wolino. So the Wolino, this is a sleep bag, a sleep suit. So this is really great, oh, so great. Okay, so when you have a little one, 
Um, typically, a lot of people sw swaddle their baby in the beginning. It's cozy, it's comforting, it's soothing for them. Um, and then when they start to roll over on their stomach, sometimes that's a good, around like three, four months, that's usually a good time to transition them out of a swaddle. Um, and so it's a little bit safer. And so that is a great time to transition them into like a sleep bag, a sleep suit, um, because it's, it's nice to still, I mean, I don't sleep well without a blanket on me and little ones are just like us. They like comfort, um, but having like a loose blanket in a crib cannot be very safe because sometimes the blanket could maybe get up um, over their face which could interfere with breathing which isn't safe so having a sleep bag or a sleep suit keeps that from happening because um, the blanket is on them and it can't go away <laughs> or move up on their face and what i love about the Wolino sleep bag is that it's designed for ages two months through 24 months so you only need to get one when we first started learning about sleep bags i was like oh my gosh okay we need one for summertime that's more breathable one for winter time that's thicker and warmer and i was always worried about her temperature and it's like is it too hot in the house is she overdressed is you know with the pajamas and then the sleep section we have put the lighter sleep sack on i mean i don't know if you're a mom you can relate to having all these like concerns so the Wolino is fantastic because it's very breathable and the Wolino material um, helps to naturally regulate your little one's temperature so whether just perfectly so it helps them to be cool helps them to be warm um, i absolutely love it and they also have on here it comes with this little like thermometer it's a room thermometer and basically it'll tell you what temperature it is in the room and then on the back it tells you how to dress them, um, what layers to put under the Wolino based on the temperature that it is in your room. Super, super handy. And we just love it. So we have, this, this is the new one for baby boy. Um, and we have one for Ella that she uses and loves. And it's become like her little security blanket. Like after her naps, she gets out of her little sleep sack and she likes to hold on to it. <laughs> and she holds on to it for a good 20 minutes until she kind of is like, waking up from her nap, um, but it has little snaps. It zips all the way around. It's so easy to get into and we absolutely love it. So I'll link it below again, like all these items in the video description box, but definitely check them out. Um, we love them. And again, you just need one because it lasts, you know, two, two months through 24 months, amazing quality, get one, you won't regret it. I love them. So the next item is a sound machine. So we thought we were super smart as new parents because we had a sound machine and we used it all the time and it was amazing. And we were like, yeah, we got this. We got a sound machine early on. However, our sound machine shut off every 30 minutes. Such a bad idea. And I didn't even think about, I didn't even think, you're so sleep deprived about like finding one that didn't do that. I just was like, our sound machine shuts off every 30 minutes, so gotta start it over again. And in the middle of the night, it was so disruptive because it, I am a light sleeper and it takes me a long time to fall back asleep. So just as I was about to fall back asleep, I'd hear the sound machine shut off. Get up, turn it back on, try to fall back asleep again. It was just a mess, horrible idea. So the sound machine that we're going with this time around is from a brand called Marpak. It's the Dome Sound Machine, and so many of you mamas love this, recommended, have messaged me on Instagram saying, "Get this, it's the best." Um, reading reviews, it becomes highly recommended. It's been highly recommended. We have one in our room already that we're getting used to the sound of, so that um, it just is a familiar sound for us already when baby here and then um, this is an extra one that we're putting in our daughter's nursery so we have one in each room um, just in case the baby needs to sleep in a different spot and it's just like easy to have one in each room and then Ella will also start using the sound machine she has one in her room now that I don't really love so we're gonna switch to everyone's gonna have the same sounds going on at night but what I love about this is it plugs in it's so simple to use there's just two different buttons where it can be like a little softer a little louder noise and then the top can twist where you can um, let more essentially like noise and air out to also adjust the volume it's so simple to use I love it and the sound is really nice too. Too. some sound machines it's a recording and it's it's like a recording of white noise and then you'll hear these like weird I don't know if you ever like this happens to you but you start you like hear this weird noise in the noise of the sound machine and then you can't unhear it and it's really annoying <laughs> but this has a really smooth like nice sound makes you want to go to sleep that's the whole point so this is um what we have for the sound machine and then they also have same brand um basically like a travel one it's smaller size great for traveling on the go which is so nice for 
going in the car, stroller rides, if you're gonna be out and about and your little one needs to take a nap and you just want some of that familiar noise and sound, um, traveling, going on a trip. We never go on trips or vacations, especially with little ones, let's be real. It's not a vacation when you have little kids. It's just life in a new, the same life in a new like environment. <laughs> Everything's the same. I don't think I'll go on a vacation for a long time. Um, but if you're traveling, maybe you're visiting family, staying overnight or something, it's nice to be able to have a little travel one. So sound machines are a must and I will link those below. So there are so many great baby products and I could go on and on, but this video is getting long and um, I know that we all have to get back to our life. So I'm gonna end here. I will list more items that I love in the video description box below and also over on the blog if you'd like to just check out more ideas. Um, but if you don't have any of these items and if you're about to have a baby or you know someone who's about to have a baby, if you're having a baby again like me and you wanna change things up, hopefully these gave, these gave you some good new ideas. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. You can stay connected with me on Instagram at Healthy Grocery Girl. Um, I like to share motherhood and behind the scenes of our work at Healthy Grocery Girl on our Instagram stories quite often. So it's just a great place to stay connected on a daily basis. And I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.